Georgia Republican Governor Brian Kemp sets the stage to aid Texas governor's border standoff with President Joe Biden. Georgia Governor Kemp chose to send even more troops, Georgia National Guard troops, to the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas. Governor Gian Forte directs Montana National Guard to support Texas with border security. Governor Greg Abbott introduced a shocking announcement regarding the Texas migrant crisis. Allowed this entire area to be penetrated by the drug cartels that smuggled in illegal immigrants. If you see an area that is boxed off by a container that has razor wire on the container or on the ground or on the fence, those are areas that illegal immigrants were once able to cross that are now unable to cross. And the reason why we've been able to achieve that level of decrease in illegal crossings is only because of great teamwork and agencies across the state of Texas. Larry Johnson and Douglas McGregor says that the United States military must deploy to Texas border immediately. Many governors around the country are now standing with Texas. In fact, almost half the governors of the United States showed up to do so. And in doing that, they're now standing up against the federal government under the Biden administration. But these turn of events is not really surprising, especially as the border crisis continues to become worse. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, he recently spoke out about what's going on over there. And while states like California, New Jersey, Florida, Arizona, and many others are also affected by this crisis, it's very clear that Texas is the main door to the United States, a door that many people now want to be shut. Now, before I go any further, I'd just like to thank you guys for always tuning in. And all I ask at this point is that you take one second and click the like button for the video. It really means a lot to me. And I always appreciate you guys sharing my videos. It helps the channel out a ton. Let me start by, by thanking everybody for being here. But uh, more important than that, uh, I, I want to thank the governors of the United States of America who are standing with Texas. Half of the governors of the United States have joined with Texas in our cause to make sure states can do everything possible to secure our border. Half of the governors that uh, have joined the cause to support Texas are joining us at this event today. And we are here to send a loud and clear message that we are banding together to fight to ensure that we will be able to maintain our constitutional guarantee that states will be able to defend against any type of imminent danger or an invasion. That has been threatened by Joe Biden and his abject refusal to enforce the immigration laws of the United States of America. The laws of the United States passed by Congress, they require the president to deny illegal entry, to the contrary of denying illegal entry, he is aided and abetted that I illegal entry. If somebody makes it across the border illegally, the president has the responsibility imposed by Congress to detain any illegal immigrant who has come here. As opposed to detaining any illegal immigrant, Biden instead has let them all loose across the entire country with no ability to accurately determine their whereabouts or what they may be doing. Now, it's very plain to see that there is a line separating these governors from the federal government. Their actions speak very loudly as if to say that they're seeing how this is affecting Texas and the people that reside there. It's also showing that these governors see eye to eye with Governor Abbott over President Joe Biden. This is echoing the message that no state should endure such a catastrophe. To send a message, 13 governors have made the trip to Texas to stand with Abbott. Now, this is a very direct message, meaning that they're willing to physically get up and go to Texas to show their support. They went this far to support Operation Lone Star, an operation that has led to over 498,000 300 illegal immigration apprehensions, and more than 39,200 criminal arrests. Now you might be wondering why they go this far to support Abbott, right? Because if you think about it, well, they could just kind of stay at home and kind of let this thing play out in Texas, but that right there would be the problem. This isn't sorting itself out in Texas. Most of these illegal migrants are coming through Texas, but they're not planning on hanging around. And this has a lot to do with the minimum wage over there. And this is part of the reason why other governors from other states realize that they have to do something because the problem will ultimately end up in their back. 
backyard. So right now, Texas has a minimum wage of $7.25. This is the federal minimum wage, meaning that this is probably what's going to be offered if these people, you know, try to apply for jobs there. But they're not here to make minimum wage. We have to expect that they're looking for something much bigger than that since they're probably going to be sending money back home to help their families. And as we've seen in the past few years, Texas has done all it can to try and bottleneck this crisis. But given the influx of people, we can see just how many of them are now deciding to move from state to state. States like California, which is pro-immigration, they're openly welcoming illegal immigrants. It's also a state where they offer free health care for undocumented immigrants aged 26 to 49. Critics say that in and of itself is a welcome banner for people to come into California. But there's a huge concern when it comes to who is coming through our borders. Now, like I said, Governor Greg Abbott, he spoke out about this crisis that the country is facing. There was a point where he discussed how potentially dangerous this could be for Americans. Going by the numbers alone, Abbott estimated that three Houstons have already entered through Texas. The population of Houston is around two and a half million or so, and the number of illegal immigrants that have come in since President Joe Biden took office was estimated at around eight million people. This is only made worse with what Abbott said next. He said that within Biden's term, they arrested an MS-13 gang member who was on the terrorist watch list. Now again, remember that millions of people have gone through the borders. Abbott reminded everyone that there are people entering the United States that the American people and and even our own president are not aware of. He added that multiple illegal immigrants who just happen to be on the terrorist watch list have crossed the border and have never been seen after. And so this raises a huge concern for states across the nation as we're unsure as to where these people are now. The risk that they pose to the American people is incredibly high since not everyone is informed of these dangerous people entering our country. There was also an instance where a person who served for Iran's military was apprehended and arrested as they tried to cross the border illegally. The question from Abbott was very clear. Why are they here and why are they trying to sneak in instead of going through the legal pathways? Abbott also had a fiery reaction to what President Biden has been doing when it comes to our borders. He said that the president has refused to do his duties to try and protect the American people, that his blatant refusal to enforce the immigration laws of the United States is nothing short of disappointing. I think that's putting it lightly. The governor pinned the blame on Biden saying that instead of detaining these illegal immigrants, the president has instead let them loose across the entire country. To make matters worse, Abbott claimed that local government officials are at a disadvantage as they're ill-equipped to determine the whereabouts of these people. Now, the president has also said on his part that the bipartisan deal for the borders is targeting at helping Texas and other states. President Biden is calling it his toughest and most fairest security deal in decades. It's also going to provide billions of dollars in emergency funds to immigration and customs enforcement, providing them with the increased detention capacity. The deal would also require asylum seekers to show greater proof that they need to seek refuge in the United States. Also going to force the Biden administration to use the money already laid out for the border barriers and have a border wall much like what the Trump administration had already planned. Now, this isn't to say that the plan is anywhere near perfect, but many are actually saying that this is the lesser evil compared to the influx of thousands of people day by day through our southern borders. The plan, however, isn't sitting well with some progressives, with others calling it very similar to what Trump would do if he were in office. Now, with all that said, Texas did confirm that the number of people that are trying to enter through their gates is now dwindling. Now, while some might think that this is a good thing, this is actually not such a good thing. The strict policies that Texas continues to implement is causing a change of plans. And so in this case, it's merely a change of route. Abbott confirmed that the illegal immigrants are now moving away from Texas and they're now trying to enter the United States through California and Arizona. Two states that are putting up no resistance to the illegal entrance of migrants. This means that instead of Texas being able to assess and check the people going into the country, we're now being told that there are two states that are letting people go in, like, you know, with little to no questions asked. So it doesn't matter as much if Governor Greg Abbott in Texas closed their doors. The problem now is that you have states like California and you have states like Arizona who are keeping their windows wide open, which in turn is now causing a surge of people going through their states. It's also worth noting that these people, they're not just walking from Texas. Abbott says that the cartel is doing their part in pushing more and more people into the United States. This is causing the threat level in our country to levels that we haven't seen in a long time. And at this point, we're not really sure how much worse it can get. But as always, I do my best to keep you guys informed. And before I go, I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. Y'all keep safe and I'll see you on the next one.